Hi, and welcome to the tutorial on how to add quizzes to your Fedora school. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use either one and two softwares, either Quizzler or Questbase, in order to do this. And you may find that one's better suited to you depending on what your specific needs are. So, to jump right in, first I'm going to show you how to use Quizzler. So, just go to embed.quizzler.com and you're going to hit sign up. And here, you're going to add in just various bits of information such as your username, your email, uh, password, and then a password confirmation, and then just hit submit. Now, I've already gone ahead and created an uh, account, so I'm just going to use that. Once you're logged in, your screen should look something like this. And you should just go right here to where it says quizzes and hit add. Now, you're just going to name your quiz. So let's give it a name like uh, Funnest Quiz. And then you're going to go down here and you're going to just click on question. And then you're going to see some text along with some choices and then an answer. And all you need to do is just fill this stuff out. So what is the best? Let's go with corn. Oh. Corn. Cheese. Carrots. Chess. Or I guess chess is spelled like that. And then cash and let's just choose one of the answers so let's say number two cheese is the best and just go down here and hit save now you're gonna see uh, this table with the quizzes right here this was a quiz I actually previously made and you're just gonna copy this embed URL right there and then go back to your school and just hit edit lecture and you're going to add a text attachment. Now, you want to go right here, this little uh, less than and greater than bracket symbol, and you're going to click that. And that's going to allow you to directly add HTML content to your course. So just paste that in. And then if you want to make sure it's working correctly, just hit that toggle again. And you should see the quiz up here. And if you choose one of the answers, you'll see it's either incorrect or it's correct and just hit add and it will now be a part of your course now as you saw there really wasn't a good way to track users or members in that uh, system so that's where quest space comes in so if you're looking to keep score of how your students perform uh, if you're looking to possibly give out certificates based upon when they complete certain lectures or certain quizzes or assignments then quest space is uh, the program for you to use so in order to do that, you want to go to www.questbase.com and then sign up for a free account. Now, one of the downsides of Questbase is that you will need to eventually pay for an account, whereas Quizzler is completely free. So just something to keep in mind when you're developing your course. So just hit sign up for free. Uh, it's going to ask you for... An email so I'm just going to use our support at usefedora.com email which is definitely the email you should be reaching out to if you come across any problems when setting up your school just hit continue and then close once you've received the verification email and you click the appropriate link just go back here add in your uh, your login credentials And you'll be taken to this landing page where it says your account. So let's just dive right in and start using Questbase. Now, it's going to ask you for some basic info. So Mike Pogue, continue. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to add and add assessment. So let's give it a great assessment because it is a great assessment. I uh, give it a description, so the best assessment in the entire world. Next. Then you can choose what kind of assessment it is. So if it's educational, like a quiz, if it's some sort of battery test uh, that doesn't necessarily have right and wrong, if it's a survey, or if it's even something else, just make sure you check the appropriate thing. 
And then also you can say whether or not you want it to be online, which is in the in your case, yes. Or if you want it to print it out, there's also an on paper option as well. So just hit next. Uh, you can choose whether to display the questions in a random order, whether to display answers in a random order, whether to set a time, whether to set a passing score, uh, whether or not you want people to only take it once, or if you want them to have some sort of password that they need to enter in in order to take the quiz. Uh, so I'm just going to leave these settings blank right now because I don't want to mess with those. But once again, as you're developing your course, these are things to consider. <laughs> Now, if you want to do this, then you can say, okay, I want to request these fields, first name, last name, email, et cetera, et cetera. And you can then mark whether or not you want those fields to be required. So basically this is helpful for if you want to capture people's information to then reach out to them again or let them know how they've been doing on particular courses. So I'm just going to say, no, I don't want to request any custom fields. So it's just going to be first name, last name, and that should be it. Uh, and email as well. Next, you'll be asking if you want to have any special messages, custom messages. I'm just going to go with the standard ones. And then I'm just going to go with this. I'll be the only one working on the assessment. So I'm not going to share it for editing or something like that. So if you're developing a course with se several different collaborators, this would be the option for you. And then click this off so you don't want people to necessarily stumble upon your quiz who are not a part of the course so and awesome so it looks like that captured all the information just hit create and then hit close and now you're good so now you see great assessment right here it's inside my assessments folder I'm gonna go to questions and I'm just gonna start adding questions so you can have a multiple choice question, a multiple answer question, a true false question, multiple true false, uh, fill in the blank, uh, an essay, and then some sort of fixed text. So like if you wanted to give them a prompt for some sort of assignment, so like go out and interact with X amount of people if you're doing some sort of networking course. So something that didn't really have a turning component to it, that might be an option. But for this, I'm just gonna show multiple choice. Very simple and straightforward. So yeah, so here's the uh, question itself. So for this, I'm just gonna give the question of what is the best online learning management system ever? I'm sure you guys can imagine where this might be going. <laughs> Add an answer. Let's go with Fedora. Market is right. Add another answer. Let's go with... Uh, well, I don't want to be mean, so let's just make up stuff. So, school masters, <laughs> Malabi, and mute me. And just hit confirm. And once you're done with that, just hit next. Now, keep in mind, if you don't want to have any right answers, so if you want to have a trick question in theory, you can also do this as well. Um, but I do want a right answer in this case, so just hit next. You can make the answer required. You can make answers show up in a random order. So if you want to do this on a specific question-by-question question basis versus set it for your entire school, this would be an area where you would set it. I, I want to make so the answer is required. Uh, you can make it so there are additional resources like pictures or videos or a chart that is uh, displayed along with this question, and this is the area where you would be adding that stuff in. But once again, I'm just going to go with the standard option. Then you can assign different weighings to your score. So I don't want to assign a score or, you know, if I want to give them a very weighted score, I can be like, it's three. Or if I want to make it uh, very heavily weighted, I can be like 4.5. And then basically it will just give you some sort of negative or positive effect like that, depending on how it works. So if you wanted to model it sort of how the American SAT system is, this would be an area for you to do that. And yeah, it's all done. Hit close. So you would just go through and develop your questions like this. And once you've uh, developed that, you go to publications. And then you just click on a publication and you can go to properties. And you would go to preview and take. 
And then down here, there's a link to, do you wanna embed this assessment in your website or blog? Yes, you do. So click that. And then you're just gonna copy and paste this. And very similar to how the quest space quiz went, you're just gonna to go to your course, click HTML, paste this code in, and then when you go back, you should see now that it is right here, good to go. Then just hit add. And that's it. That's how you add quizzes to your course. If you have any questions about this or anything else, feel free to reach out to us at support at usefedora.com or support.usefedora.com for tons of articles, tips, and videos on how to get the most out of your school. Take care, and we can't wait to see what you do with your school. Bye.